Hey everybody, Allegorix here with another update to Escape from Tarkov Arena. BSG this morning has tweeted out their next patch, so yet another UD pate here for us. If you like this kind of content and want to see more, always want to be up to date on Escape from Tarkov Arena news and gameplay, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It is free. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it. And my question of the day for you guys is, what has been your favorite preset since arena wiped that could be from tier one two or three it can be your overall favorite preset really curious to see what you guys are playing and what you guys are loving out there so let me know that down in the comments without further ado let's jump into the patch notes here so we got our list of changes we have unranked game mode Hell yes, finally. An unranked game mode has been added to the game in which there are no restrictions on the selection of duplicate presets and the number of locations for matchmaking, as well as no change in ARP rating. So finally, we can get back to doing our five-man Ratatouille's, our five-man just whatever you want. You can mix and match. You can see down here they got rid of the team restrictions, um, but I get ahead of myself. So let's go ahead and go through them one by one. So team fight and shootout are available for unranked. Remove the team restriction on selecting duplicate presets. So you can go back to how it was pre-wipe. You can be however many of whoever you want to be on each team. Go crazy. Um, reduce the minimum number of selected locations to one for matchmaking. So really just obviously for unranked, making it a bit more casual. You can spam one map, practice a map, you know, learn the call outs, get better at it and be whoever you want without having to worry about other people picking your op. So if for anything, unranked is obviously it's a great training ground. And if you just want to relax and chill, don't worry about your ARP. Maybe you're having a bad day. I know I'm going to use this from time to time. Jump into unranked and just go crazy. Increase the cash rewards up to 20% for tier one, 30% for tier two and 45% for tier three in comparison to ranked mode. So it looks like unranked will actually also garner you a little bit more cash. So that is a very interesting decision by BSG. I guess it sort of acts as an incentive to get into unranked and just a little bit more of a bonus since you are not gaining ARP. That's how I see it. Let me know what you guys think. It make, am I even reading this right? Uh, but this seems to be how it works, so that's pretty interesting. On the career screen, player stats are divided into ranked and unranked. So not much to that there, just splitting up your stats so you can see how you're doing in both categories. All right, so jumping down to matchmaking here, reduce the preset purchase time from 90 to 45 seconds. Now this is implying that this is applied to ranked and unranked, of course. No longer do you have a minute and a half to do so. You have half the time at 45 seconds. I think just changes just fine. It speeds up the process a little bit more. And on top of that, they reduce the match accept time from 30 to 25 seconds. So this is them, again, just trying to speed up the process a little bit. I think we're still going to have an equal amount of people that just don't click the damn accept button or are having some kind of issues with loading in or with the matchmaking of some sort to where they can't accept. So... I think this is a good change. It just speeds things up. I don't think it's going to change the amount of people that are clicking the button. I do, however, wish they would just get rid of this whole double verification, accept the match thing. It, it just, I think, leads to more issues and more extended queue times for people. I can understand why they're doing it. They, they want to make sure that people are actually getting into the game, but... If they remove that step and they just have like a better infrastructure for when the game is starting as far as people, you know, connecting and being there, that would be the solution to that. And it would cut down on a lot of this wait time and clicking and requeuing and all that. Anyway, we're going to jump down to sound, added a volume setting for the arena announcer. Holy shit, guys. Thank you you bsg finally minimum volume is 30 percent of the current volume oh my god that is probably still way too loud but you absolutely have the freedom to change the volume on the announcer now i am sure that is exciting news for so many people not just me finally thank you that man will no longer be screaming in my ear i love it also added a volume setting for the match except notification great for me i don't know if you guys got the same thing but since the wipe my match except notification has been insanely loud now other people have said that it's not loud but for me it became deafening and i did not have a way to turn it down without turning down the whole game so i'm glad there's a volume option for that now hopefully you guys can find some use with that all right so jumping down to voip reduce the volume of radio turn on and turn off noises Thank you. Just more quality of life changes. The radio noises are, are cool and they're aesthetic, but after a very short period, they got very annoying, especially with how random and varied they were with squeaks and squeals and hissing and all that stuff. It was just a bit inundating, honestly, and increase the overall volume of radios. So that is also nice. There is also a volume control for VoIP, so you can control this in the settings if it is too loud for you. However, I have experienced, as I'm sure you guys have, that a lot of times the radios are very quiet, especially 
it seemed that having a helmet that covers your mouth actually affected it. I didn't put much testing to that, but it seemed to be the case when I'm talking to people who have face coverings. I know for those of you playing 2v2s and 3v3s that when you're up in the stands, the volume got a lot quieter. So anyway, that's great. Hear your teammates better. Good stuff. Uh, quality of life. Experience exceeding the amount of needed for currently selected preset will be carried over to the next preset. That is an amazing quality of life change. Really glad they added that. Well, this has been a big issue and complaint because let's say you're at 74,900 experience out of 75,000 for the next preset and you gain 10,000 experience in the next lobby. You get 100 to unlock that preset and the remaining 9,900 experience is lost completely. It goes into the ether and it's gone. So with this change, that 9,900 would then bleed into the next preset unlock. The only thing I would say for them to be mindful of from this, and this is a great first step, is be mindful of the next unlock in the tree. So they will by default spill into the next one below or the next one linearly from what you're currently on. So if you wanted to unlock that preset, but there's one on the other side of the tree you wanted to do afterwards, that experience won't go to that one. It will go to the next one down the line from what you're unlocking. So maybe it would be cool to add like a next in line sort of option for stuff like this. So just something to think about for the future. Maybe that would be a cool change. Harder penalties for killing allies in a match. Okay. Reduce the number of kills for warning penalty from four to three. I honestly didn't even know there was a warning penalty. I have not killed that many teammates in a match. So uh, that's good though. Four to three. That's great. Reduce the number of kills for the offending player to be kicked and blocked from six to four. Okay. So be very careful who you're shooting in the match. I think if you're team killing four people in a match, you're either just having a horrible, horrible day or you're doing it on purpose. So I think that's perfectly reasonable. Added the offending player block for killing and damaging allies before the gates open and for some time after. The player is instantly killed and a warning is issued if they damage or kill an ally. On a repeat offense, the player is instantly kicked from the match and blocked from matchmaking for 30 minutes. If the player repeats the offense further, the punishment will be increased. So obviously this leaves it open-ended for them to punish the player at their own discretion. I'm sure extended bans and then eventually perhaps a soft lock on the account or even just a ban from the game entirely if you keep it up. So they have sort of a punishment progression path here for people who team kill. So hopefully that pans out as well as they're intending it to. So all great changes, good quality of life here. Leaderboard, the statistics displayed on the rating screen now only count the results of ranked games. So this is just simply stating and reassuring that the leaderboard is only affected by ranked games. This isn't necessarily a change. They're just telling you that unranked games have no say in what's on the leaderboard. And list of fixes. We got one fix here. Fix several issues causing the game except screen to be missing for some group members. That's great. We have that bug happen actually a lot more frequently than it should. So I'm glad they implemented some fixes there. Hopefully that solved the issue. All right, so that is gonna do it for today. These are some really great changes. I hope they keep putting out patches like this in the meantime until the next big patch comes out from the roadmap. These are really excellent. I'm excited to see these implemented. These are actually being uploaded into the game right now as we speak. So today you'll be able to experience these changes. So go crazy and unranked, enjoy the better sound management, the VoIP, quality of life changes. This is all really good stuff. I'm excited to see where this game's going from here. Again, if you like this kind of content and want to stay up to date, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It is free to hit. Like the video. If you want to catch me over on Twitch, I do so throughout the week, usually Mondays and Thursdays, and I'll pepper in some other days there. I'll usually make announcements on my Discord or on YouTube. So come on by twitch.tv slash allegoric. Say hi, play with me. I like to play with viewers. We'll have a really good time. So that's all my stuff that I got for you. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you out in the arena. Peace.